Tak posloucháš Radio Spin a tohle je Utilí, to znamená, že je tady pro tebe pravidelný žánrový pořad, který se jmenuje Street Cypher a zaměřuje se na undergroundový hip-hop a věci s tím spojené. A dnes mám ve studiu velice důležitého hosta, kterého uvidíš live zítra ve Futuru, is Champion Sound. AG is still in the house. Yeah, definitely in the building. South Bronx in the house. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. Before we go uh, into present, I want to talk about the past a little bit. Okay, let's do it. Because uh, having you here is one of the rare opportunities to talk to someone who has been there. That's a fact. You know, because I can only read about it. Nah, that's what's up. Yeah. I'm born and raised in the Bronx, New York, so you already know the birthplace of hip hop. <laughs> I already know that. Uh, I think today's is uh, DJ Cool Herc birthday as fact. well. Yes, it is. Happy <laughs> so birthday to, to the Cool Herc. A, a little, so a little bit of history. The Godfather. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I feel like, especially like the newer generation, doesn't really uh, understand or grasp the fact that you were really young when you started out, right? Yeah, for sure. Eighteen. 18. Mm -hmm. So, can you paint us a little picture how it was back then? Um, well, uh, um, like I said, I was born and raised in, pa in the Bronx, and I grew up in Patterson Projects, and my older brother, uh, he was full-fledged into the whole hip-hop movement, not mm -hmm. just um, rapping, but he was breakdancing. He's a great graffiti artist as well, and I had to follow him around everywhere, so <laughs> it's like I inherited you right. know the the culture i can't break dance and i'm not good at graffiti but the rapping part stuck with me but the fact of the culture was always was there so i always i knew i grew i was raised with hip hop so i grew up with it it's like a brother to me you know mm -hmm. what i mean so mm -hmm. that feeling that energy that wasn't here before it's like it, it was taking over the spirit of people that just wanted to to express themselves in a different way other than doing something violent. You know, sometimes right. people express themselves through violence and crime, but this was a different way to express yourself and be different and be outside of the system, but still not affecting anybody in a negative way. Mm -hmm. So I followed it wholeheartedly, you know, like uh, Karis One, Rakim, like they were on my radar, Melly Mel, um, right. um Curtis Blow, Run DMC, so I'm 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 on it. So I stayed trying to perfect my craft, which was rapping, because I knew this is something that changed my life from the moment I heard it and felt it. Mm -hmm. And this was something that I knew I was going to do for the rest of my life. And I just stayed on it. And then uh, I met Law Finesse, you mm -hmm. know. And Law Finesse changed my life, because even though we were on the same level and we were peers, he was out there trying to get it, and I mean, really get it. He went and got himself a deal. Uh, he put together his first album, Funky Technician. Mm -hmm. He featured me on it. I'm the only other person on the album, so it's a blessing for that. And on that album was uh, production-wise was Diamond D, Showbiz, DJ Premier. So this is like the beginning of a whole movement within itself that I was a part of, and I was grateful for that. Right. And who would know it would take you this far, right? That's a fact, like, because <laughs> when I started, and I'm giving up a lot, that's like 88, 89, mm -hmm. this was a fad. This wasn't something that, right? you know, you can consider having, like, a, as, a, as a job or Career. a primary mm -hmm. way to create income. This mm -hmm. was just something you were doing because of the love of it. But whoever knew, you put your all into it, and it was such something that you can't put into a bottle that it, it captivated the world when they got a chance to view it and, and experience it. So it uh, opened the doors for all of us. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, that's beautiful. And um, so did it start in the park? Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> um, first of all, not in the park. Uh, um, uh, cool Herc, happy birthday to Cool Herc. He threw a jam inside of a, a, a rec center. Mm -hmm. And that was the beginning of it all, you know, scratching two records on a turntable. Um, that was the that was the inception. That was the beginning, and mm -hmm. then everybody started imitating that. Like, yeah, this is this is dope. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, and it was a way to get the kids off the street. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> so we're gonna fast forward <laughs> mm -hmm. real quick. <laughs> okay. Over some decades. <laughs> That's what's and, up. Um, so I have here from the new uh, project that you mentioned, AG and AG Cons. Cons. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, so this is like fresh, fresh, right? Mm -hmm. This is March 29th. Right? Okay, it came out March 29th. Mm -hmm. And the album is called Bronx Kill. That was the original name of the Bronx. Mm, really? Yeah. So um, my daughter's name is the Bronx. So a lot okay. of things I do will incorporate her name. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because uh, she basically changed my life like the same way hip hop did. I feel the same way about hip hop and even more about her, you know? Oh, that's lovely. That's what's You don't hear a lot about, you know, rappers and how fatherhood changed their life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I became a father at a very late age because I, I didn't think that was in the cards for me because um, my pops wasn't really around. So that's right. that's not something I wanted to really, like, uh, do to someone, to a, a child. So unless I had a solid foundation or something then I wasn't even going to go down that route, you know what I mean? But my, um, my daughter's mother, my wife, is uh, Japanese. Mm -hmm. And she's the one that changed my whole idea about not even having kids or whatever. And, right. You know, and I, I'm glad she did because this is the best thing that ever happened. So I live in Japan with her, with them, and it's a different experience, but watching Yeah, her, I bet. Like, that's yeah, a totally different culture it's than de it's what you... Totally from different. Bronx to Japan, that's like... <laughs> yeah, so I had to give her the name the Bronx because if we're going to live in Japan, we got to have something from the birthplace. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Okay, uh, I'm not sure. Um, when it rains, in sports. Yeah, this Let's is my that. joint right there. That's your joint. So Shout out to Kunz. Uh, do, we're going to have another karaoke session in the studio. <laughs> All right. Uh, Poslouchaš 30 for the Radio Spin. Let's just leave